2018-19 Prism Basketball Retail 10 box break number two. These are your teams. Good luck, everybody. Whoa, I have teams in this? <laughs> That's great. I love it. Now here's the thing. Did you pick the right teams? I got to do some sort of article to show you guys how to pick teams. When you want to pick teams that you don't. PC. Or you want to make some money off of that's your thing <laughs> here's a funny story so whenever I I take my whenever I take teams in a break, I will actually go into the store and buy them. Um and when I was checking out with the Bulls today, you have just checked out before me. I was like, damn, there goes my Wendell Carter finite. <laughs> Pressure points. You open enough of them, you can look at them and they'll open. Here we go. Uh, Dwayne Deadman. Kevin Knox, Ben Simmons, Akoji, Jeremiah, Jeremy Grant, Silver, Kawhi.
Cody Zeller for the Hornets. Uh, Brewer Fever. Michael Porter Jr. Silver. That's all right. I know a guy who opens like a case of cards every day. <laughs> He's got to bite the packs open still. Still. For like 20 years. Dude's a pack biter. I know some of you are, and you're like, oh, I'm a pack biter too. Dwayne Wade. Miles Bridges. It's okay. The end goal's the same. Maybe you're just more hungry than everyone else. Derek Rose. Green. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, yes and no. So I don't know how many cards you have or how you store them or if you sell them or what your plans are for them. Jerome Robinson times two. Um, if your intent was to sell them, I would separate them by player and then sell them as lots. Um, I would wait until said player is doing well and then I'd list them. Rajon Rondo. Outside of that, I don't know how you want to categorize or... Uh, Organize your collection. I have a hard enough time trying to do that myself. It's like, oh man, I want to be uh, by the team. I want to be by the player. I want to be by the year. What am I supposed to do? I'm just throw them all in a box. Oh, but you like that, though. If you're a set builder, you like the chase. You like the organization, don't you? There's no way you can be a set builder and not be organized. Unless you just buy sets. <laughs> Beckett Magazine? This will be valuable to you. Click that link and watch this video. It's the second one on there. That's your new magazine that tells you how much the cards are. Except this time, it's not actually some group of people manipulating cards. 
It's the actual market. Yeah, that's a big problem because that's not a meh card at all. That's something that takes you from zero to midnight real quick. Or six to midnight. There is no zero. You have a car that you're selling, Cheeks? Do you go by Brad or is it Bradfield? Always. I never know what to call you. Brad? Okay. I figured that usually when people set up like a money account, they're super like stern. So they use their full complete legal name, but they don't ever go by it. So I'll start calling someone like Hamilton. Whatever. They're like, dude, just call me Ham. Why are you always calling me Hamilton? That's lame. <sighs> That's such a mom thing. <laughs> I'm so happy I only have one name or that my name can't really be shortened. Well, I mean, I guess it can, but not really. Bry, B, Burr. Uh, my grandma, when she sends me Christmas cards, always spells my name Brain. Like, I don't even have a fucking I in my name. You're 90. How do you not know my name yet? Every year, same thing. Yeah, um, <clears throat> book doesn't mean anything anymore. It really doesn't. Unless you're literally selling cards on the Beckett Marketplace, which is a great place to sell singles of base cards. If you have the time to ship out like 50 base cards to 50 different people every day. Other than that, Beckett's really worthless these days, outside of grading. Um, if you're looking to complete sets that are not autographed, um, I would highly suggest first sports lots, sportlots.com. Sport, not plural, lots it is. S P O R T L O T S. Um, and then COMC, check out my cards, COMC.com. 
That'll get you uh, all the cards you're missing for super cheap. On support lots, yeah. That's the that's the tricky thing about uh, trying to build sets of base cards because I mean it costs many money to ship the card, but the card's not as worth as much as it takes to ship it. What do you do? I've got a cool question for you guys. How many of you have been to an actual physical card shop, local card shop, in the last three months? Comic books, cards, uh, pawn shop, whatever. Oh, no, Andy, which one closed down? Are you talking about the one in Addison? I don't know what that is. I don't think I've ever been to a shop in Palatine. Baseball card king. Uh-oh. They weren't there for very long, were they? They started out of Plainfield, and they did like seven shops fast. I was confused. I, yeah, I don't understand why they went so hard so fast. Didn't make any sense. They were nowhere near being able to do everything that they could do with their store in Plainfield, and they opened six more. Like, uh, all right. Good luck. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we have. Welcome to the internet, son. Sorry. Taking a moment of pride and appreciation. Been really appreciative of the internet lately. An opportunity to opportunities that it gives me. Well, good for him. That's a that's a good man. Uh, brick and mortar? No, actually, they don't. Well, you guys is very vague. If you guys, meaning that the people that buy from distributors, and Andy, you should be too. I'll show you how to do that. Um, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. 
What were we talking about? Uh, that's a, that's a big boy card shop. RBI, RBI crew, Psh, nothing but hustle. The rest of the guys, card shops that you think about, they opened them during the nineties and they just made a killing and now they just sit there and wait for people to come to them. Like no one's coming, bro. You have to do something. Andy, I'm fairly certain I can have you signed up with a distributor by the end of the day tomorrow. <laughs> a minimum of three. Hey, man. You do shows and stuff. matter what they do it matters how you do it dude imagine going to a show and having like all right <clears throat> so this is your table right you got this sick pair of air force ones over here and a pair of kobe's and a pair of jordan's and you got like a couple awesome like Anthony Hardaway rookie, uh, whatever rookie, Michael Jordan rookie. And then you got a bunch of packs spread out all in front of it. Well, in front of it, they see all the packs and they catch that and they start looking down because they have to look down back at themselves to reach for their wallet. And they realize they don't want to spend all that money on the shoe. They want to spend it on the packs. What's in that pack? Something like that card is in that pack? Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. I don't have the hustle for a card a card show. I just I don't know. It's not in me. I don't care. I'm I'm happier when people are happy than try to hustle to get an extra like three bucks out of something. Piss somebody off. Not even because I want them to come back to me, but just because I think that that's how you should do it. If you have something that is in an industry that it's bartered over, then you have to realize that it's going to be bartered over and you need to barter or not. Take a stance. You don't go to the grocery store and be like, oh, I was just at Kroger and these are $3.99 and you're charging $5.49 for the same brand of chicken breasts. Like, fuck you, buy it or don't. Get the fuck out. They don't care. Well, some people would say that's smart. I wouldn't be one of those people. Dude, it's so easy. It's just be transparent and honest and do exactly what you would want someone else to do for you. 
And if they're still not happy, then shut the fuck up and listen to what they're talking about because you don't understand it. Yeah, exactly. Not even, not saying that I would do something like that, but if I did, those other boxes would be at a discount, big time. I'd be trying to get rid of those like crazy. That's probably why I wouldn't be good at that scenario. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just realized that you're in Florida and I'm in Russia. Can you make sure that you ship this card that I bought on the 23rd to me and make sure it gets here by the 24th for Christmas for my kid? Like, come on, that's not reasonable. A Raz is a, um, a raffle. I don't know why they call it a Raz. I don't know where Raz came from. I believe that somebody just made up the word Raz because we weren't allowed to call it a raffle because that was illegal online gambling. <clears throat> so a Raz is basically a, rab a raffle. So check it out. Michael Porter Jr., 60 bucks silver. I'm going to run a filler, 10 spots, 6 bucks a spot, top spot wins. That's a Raz. So if you thought doing group breaks or ripping boxes was gambling, <laughs> go over to that world. Good luck. I think I think most people would say that the stock market is gambling. Unless they don't know what it is. And then they would say it's investing. Yes, yeah, someone's guaranteed that. It's not going to be any one of the people that buys them. Unless they all sell out. And then magically it'll come out at the end. What are you noticing? Nope. No Jersey cards in prism. None. Prism is a rookie card product. Sometimes you'll get a vet auto. Actually, this year a lot more. Um, there are no patches or jersey cards in Prism. Do the blasters have jerseys? They always do such weird things with us.
Probably because they sold them all to us. We didn't have any offerings for uh, silo boxes, or blasters, or packs, or anything like that. Retail's a whole different animal. I uh, here's a crazy variance. From one company, I got these from X dollars. From another company, I got the same exact box for twenty dollars less. Box. Yeah, they're all over the place, man. Usually you're within like two bucks a box per distributor. Um, and that's only just because of how they collect their fees. Credit card fees, pay at the door, crap. Oh, God, next year's going to be a shit show. And the worst part is that if you don't buy 300 cases of hoops, you don't have a shot at getting anything else. Oh, it's so frustrating. Always. Go back and look at two thousand nine exquisite.
Yeah, what's last year's at? Eight, nine hundred bucks a box? A box? Of eight cards? Dirk Green. Um, I think it's a little silly, and I think it's not. I mean, the market doesn't lie, right? Rob, you know that. But also, the market's probably false. But, basketball, people will say, because it's international, it's so much more valuable I disagree as to the reason. I think it's because the players have so much individual attention on themselves and they're able to <clears throat> express themselves through social media and allow their popularity to grow. Kevin Hervey. But when you get into like baseball or hockey and you got an agency running The entire Major League Baseball, Gary Harris Silver, that says what you can do, what you can't do. It's hard to gain exposure. Yes, Zion's going to be... If he does not get hurt this year or rape or kill someone, he will be the... Single biggest collecting card. Of the last 30 years. Am I wrong? More than LeBron. People weren't shelling out money like that for LeBron when LeBron came out. They were happy about him. But let's be honest. In 2003, nobody was going to pay. Uh, if this was LeBron's rookie right now, it would be like a $400 card. Just the base. Dirk, look at Steph Curry's stupid card. His stupid paper card out of hoops. You grade it, it's a 10. Boom, there's $1,000. That's stupid. There's millions of those cards. <laughs> Bismack Biombo for the Hornets. And it's higher because it's popular. Michael Porter Jr. Green. Denver. Right, Rob? It's not it's not some crazy ass thing that there's some Anomaly going on. It's the popularity of it. Russ Silver.
Barkley. It's over. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Cheeks. I think people forget about that. They complain that Panini has so many products or Tops has so many products, but they really don't. They have the same or less than it used to be. The only reason you think they have a lot is because they're the only ones. Jaron Jackson Jr., baby. Grizz. Tiki's nice. Scotty Pippen. Kevin Durant Green get hyped. Lonzo Ball. Hype it up, yo. Um, mm, I don't know, Rob. I think that depends a lot on how the industry and the people in it are able to market these crazy prices. And who they're marketing it to. There are only so many current hobby collectors that you can market to. Right? That would entertain the idea of paying $1,000 for the Mavericks and something like this. Not many of them. But if you focused on them, I think that prices could get even bigger. Ah, uh, the border of the card matches the team color is so clutch. Yeah, I'm tired of waiting. Anthony Simmons, Silverado, Portland. Billy Preston Green, Quarter, K 
Carroll. Hutchinson Green. To 42, Tyreek Evans. Kyrie. Anthony Simmons Green. God, it sucks being a Pacers fan. Said everyone ever. Except for that one year they won the NBA championship. That was awesome. Dude, I'm sorry. That was rude. DeAnthony Melton, silver. Shaq Green. Devin Booker Silver. Kevin Knox Green. I mean, look at the... Tr I mean, just look at the trade deadlines with basketball and how much more action there is versus every other sport. Michael Adams, Denver. Or off-season acquisitions. There's so more, so many more players moving around. It seems like. Maybe it, I'm wrong. Trey Young Green. It's all about the player. And in the NFL, kind of, and definitely hockey and baseball, players can't market themselves. I have to get legal approval. Oh, I agree. 100 100% Andy. Can't There's I there's I have no disagreement whatsoever. No. In the stadium while you're watching with live betting. God, they're just in it right now for the cash grab. Lonnie Walker, silver for the Spurs. Mitchell Robinson, silver. The up. Bird Green, Zaire,
Super sad. <laughs> PJ Brown for the Heat. Talk of the town. Tim Duncan, Jerome, CJ, Robert, Derek, everyone's on a first name basis, except for him. Jacob Evans, Luca, NBA selling games by the quarter. That's brilliant. Yeah, one pink. It wasn't a good one. We're going to do a recap at the end if you want to see all the goods. Solier 2K3, Luka Donick. Nope, sorry. Rubber Band Man with the Mavericks in this one. Yeah, life is all about the micro, isn't it? Except for the people who win. Carl Malone. Gary Trent.
Drew Holiday. Pelicans. Uh, the Red Donick for a hundy. Another Luca base. Reggie Miller. Kevin Garnett. Solomon Hill Green, Michael Porter Jr., Jalen Brunson Silver, rookie. Iggy. Stack. Ooh. Eaton, silver. Insert. DeLon Wright. Orzingis. Ginobili. Eaton. One fifty. Now we got three hundred to randomize away. Lou Williams, Luca, Steve Nash Green, times two. That's weird. Oh, they're different cards. Still weird. Gonna hold strong on that one. It's weird. Charlie Scott for the Suns. Porzinga Silver. Alonzo Trier. He's a scorer. Silver. All right, let's run a recap.
autos were well you'll see Charlie Scott Drew Holiday PJ Brown Anthony Simmons silver Michael Adams Jaron Jackson Jr. Bismack Biombo and Cody Zeller. Got 300 points to randomize amongst everybody in the break. We'll do that at the end of the recap. Uh, Alonzo Trier, silver. Gary Trent Jr., green. Luka Donick, base. Brunson, silver. Aiton, insert. Another Luka, base. Jacob Evans, base Luca. Mitchell Robinson, Green Billy Prince, Preston to 49. Tyreek Evans, Green Anthony Simmons, DeAnthony Melton, Green Kevin Knox. Insert. Trey Young, Green, Giannis. Michael Porter Jr., Green, Kevin Hervey. And Michael Porter Jr. Silver. Uh, also had this guy. Not bad. All right. Points. The moment you've all been waiting for. Three times, person on top gets all of the points. One. Two. And three. Going to BPO. BPO. And that is it on this one. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.